हेलो गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक इन सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन द क्वेश्चन इज प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ ए पार्टिकल इन द यूनिफॉर्म सर्कुलर मोशन वन सेकेंड प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ ए पार्टिकल in a uniform circular motion on any diameter performing simple harmonic motion that is a question now how can you prove that first of all you have to know this is a circle circle means it will have diameter radius and everything see here here i am considering a circle with the o as the center point these two are the diameters for my convenience now this uh, circular path can be divided into two coordinate axes that is x x dash x axis y y dash y axis see here you can compare with this uh, simple pendulum how can you compare with this simple pendulum as we know the definition of simple harmonic motion how can you define the simple harmonic motion so already in our previous class i discuss the simple harmonic motion and time period derivation also Here in the once again, I would like to tell the definition of the simple harmonic motion. Let us consider a metal bob whose mass is small m is a freely suspended to the rigid support by using the torsionless thread. Now pull the bob aside and lift itself, pulling like this. With a small amplitude, that is important. You have to remember that with small amplitude and left itself. Automatically, what happened? It will move here, which we can call as two motion. And I again come back, which we can call as pro motion from the mean position. This is the mean position. The two and the pro motion of a pendulum. with the mean position it executing the shm now you can compare with the circular motion look at this let us say a particle at point x named as some p let us say now the particle p is moving from x to y that means let us say this is the mean position from here to here you can compare these two and then the particle moving from y to x dash that means it will come back the bob from extreme position to mean position and again from y x dash to y dash that means from here to mean position to left side extreme position and then y dash to x that means it will come back to the mean position that means x to y y to x dash x dash to y dash y dash to x from that you can compare here from mean position to extreme position and then mean position and then extreme position left side and then mean position that means it will make one oscillation a particle moving in the uniform circular motion is nothing but one oscillation now you can compare with this diameter that means when the particle let us say a p particle is move starting from x let us say another particle n let us say then if the particle p moving from x to y then the particle n uh, move from o to x okay na horizontally this is angularly and then the particle move from y to x dash in that time the particle n moving from x to o 
Got it. Similarly, if the particle moving from x dash to y dash, in that of the particle n moving from O to x dash. If the particle moving from y dash to x, then the particle moving from x dash to O. That means if it is performing uniform circular motion, then the particle, horizontal particle moving from O to x, x to O, O to x dash, x dash to O dash. That means if uh, one circular motion, uniform circular motion performs one oscillation along the diameter. This I have to prove. Got it? Now, go for the derivation about this. Let us say, here, you better to write here, simple harmonic motion definition is there. Yeah, okay, one second. Huh? Simple harmonic motion. So, you better to write down the definition also. Simple harmonic motion. How can you define the simple harmonic motion? When a particle moving from moving to and fro motion from mean position executes simple harmonic motion. Now, as we know, the conditions for executing the simple harmonic motion is number one. What are the conditions? Number one, motion should be periodic. And number two, acceleration is proportional to displacement and uh, it is opposite in direction. These are the two conditions for executing the simple harmonic motion. As we know the, from the definition we will get a is equal to minus omega square y. This is the formula. From the SHM definition, we will get the formula. Acceleration is directly proportional to displacement. And it is a negative sign indicates the opposite direction. Where omega square is the proportionality constant. This I have to prove. Okay. Now, look at this. Here. Here. From this for this derivation, consider uh, a uniform circuit with the center as O, which divided into x x dash and y y dash axis okay let a particle p here moving from x to some point p let us say here at this point p point p x to p with the angular velocity omega in time t seconds making angular displacement theta. That means you can draw here. This is angular theta. So the particle P not moving from X to Y. Here I am considering. Just it will move from X to P only. That means this uh, circular part, that is the particle P move in the circular path. Whereas let us say a particle N. Now let a particle n 
ओके मूविंग हॉरिजॉन्टली फ्रॉम ओ टू सम एन विथ डिस्प्लेसमेंट से एक्स That is by drawing a normal here from here. This indicates the x. Okay, this is the point M. So as we know that at the point P, centripetal force, centripetal acceleration is towards the center. So at point P, centripetal. Acceleration. Uh, how much centripetal acceleration A is equal to? As we know that, uh, what is the formula? Generally, we know the centripetal force F is equal to m r omega square. So F is equal to m a. M a is equal to m r omega square. M m cancelled. A is equal to r omega square. So A is equal to you can say r omega square. Here r indicates amplitude. This is the radius. Okay, now that means we can write in place of a is equal to r. Sorry, r in place of r you can put a. A omega square. Okay, now keep in the bracket. Later we can use this. This is the centripetal acceleration towards the at point B towards the O. Next here let us assume from the triangle uh, from triangle. O P M. This is a triangle O P M. From this triangle, this is a theta. This is adjacent side. This is a hypotenuse. So from that we will get adjacent side means cos theta. Better to use the cos theta. Cos theta is equal to what is the formula? Adjacent side of a hypotenuse. So from the diagram, I can write directly. So x by k. This is the formula for the cos theta. Now here you have to remember that. The acceleration here we have to remember acceleration. So here look at this diagram and please note it down the diagram. Now acceleration along N O is equal to horizontal component. So acceleration along N O. So acceleration along N O is equal to N O from here to here. N O is equal to which is nothing but the horizontal component. Horizontal component. So what is the acceleration along the N O? N O acceleration A is equal to you can say. So you better to write at the point P means uh, say A P something. Okay. Now A is equal to what is the value? What is the value given here? That is A P into cos theta. This is the formula. Okay. This is the formula. Now, in place of uh, cos theta, you can substitute x by a. So, look at this. Yeah. Now, acceleration a is equal to, as we know, A P cos theta. But A P is equal to as we know A omega square. Now substitute here. What you will get? A is equal to A omega square into cos theta. But we know that cos theta is equal to x by A. So A A gets cancelled. So you will get A is equal to omega square x. Here displacement x means I am taking x only. If it is y, you can take y. But You have to prove that in the according to the definition, acceleration and the uh, displacement are opposite direction. Here we can say that acceleration along N O is positive. That means acceleration along O N is negative. So acceleration, yeah. acceleration along O N. Is equal to a is equal to minus omega square x. 
So hence we can say that a is proportional to minus x. Finally, we we'll prove that acceleration is always directly proportional to the displacement and it is in the opposite direction. Negative sign indicates the opposite direction. Hence, we can prove that projection of the particle in the uniform circular motion on any diameter performing simple harmonic motion. So, this is about the SHM. A is a long answer question you can expect for the board point of view. Okay. Thank you for watching.